hello traders today we're going to take a look at the sonic trading system we're going to look at one hour of uninterrupted trades all the trades that occurred between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock on friday august 30th now if you have any questions on what you're seeing here feel free to email us at support at daytradetowin.com before we begin remember that trading is risky please don't trade with funds you cannot afford to lose the previous signals here are on the chart there are a few different ones there's longs and there's shorts let me explain to you a little bit uh, what we're seeing right now and I'm just gonna let it run the sonic trading system so you could see the signals the exact entries the targets and the stops and I'll outline where the targets and the stops are based on the green and the red targets and the stops so previously uh, about maybe 10 15 here there was a long trade and the target was hit following that there was another trade this one is short and this one here most likely if you weren't filled was stopped out the next trade here at about 1040 was a long trade this was easily made on the target the most recent trade here at about 1055 is a short signal 56 31 75 and the target was easily hit on that so the last few signals were pretty good we had one stop out so I'm gonna let this run for one hour till about 12 o'clock on Fridays I think we don't need to trade all day long and really if you're a day trader you shouldn't focus on five six hours sitting in front of your computer really pick and choose a few hours throughout the day I would say probably within the first two or three hours under let's say eight to ten trades should be your go-to and you should be up for the day if not that's fine tomorrow's a new day but let's see what the sonic trading system can do if you haven't already received a free member account at daytrade2win.com feel free to join up there's a free member account where you can see some videos you can download uh, the ABC indicator and some other things too that we teach you for the traders that are interested in learning a little bit more about price action and what we share here at daytrade to win all right, let's take a look at what happens here within the next hour. To explain a little bit on what you're going to see and for you to understand what the Sonic system can do, the alerts, there's two separate alerts, alert one and alert two, which you're going to see appear on the chart at a very specific price, which is telling you to enter long or enter short at that specific price. It usually happens at the close of a candle. So when that box that you see, that shaded box, finishes plotting at that last candle it's indicating for you to go long or go short and there's a specific price to do so then you'll see correspondingly the red horizontal line and green horizontal line those are the targets and the stops now you can adjust the targets and the stops you can say I want a smaller target or a larger target which is based off the ATR the average true range in this case, I have the ATR at about 75%. Most traders have it between 75% and one. You can have a much larger target at two or three times the ATR, but I wanna see more signals for this hour that I'm showcasing. And so whenever we have a signal, the target, and by the way, the smaller the target, the more likely that you're gonna hit that target because you don't have to wait so long for it to occur. If you want a much larger target, then you have to wait for it to happen and the market has to move in that favor. But with a smaller target, then you can expect it to happen within five, 10 minutes at the most. We have a new signal here. Uh, it's an alert one, short 5626. So again, based on what I've just explained to you, the signal is a short, the price is 56.26 on the E-mini S&P. The target is at about 56.24. There's a green line there if you could see it. And we wait until we get hit either on a target and the stop. In this case, the target was hit and now it looks for a new trade. So that's what you're seeing, the targets, the stops, the entries. We're trading the E-mini S&P. It's a one minute chart, although you can trade with a, a tick chart, a range chart, 
um, a 30 second chart, a five minute chart. We have traders that have given us some feedback on what they like and everyone really loves the Sonic system because you can trade it on different time frames and different chart types. We also have this available for TradingView. So TradingView is also an option for those of you who are using that platform. We have it in NinjaTrader as well as TradingView. Let's take a look and see what happens. So right now, uh, at about 10 55 11 o'clock we've had the most recent two signals successful to the short side both winners let's see what happens next one last thing that i do want to mention is that the dotted line that you see there those dots that's a filter the filter is actually focusing on whether or not a trade to the short side is below that dotted line or a trade to the long side is above that so as long as we stay with the price below that dotted line, short trades will only be available. As soon as it crosses back above, or if it goes above, then you'll see long trades. So I just wanted to add that in case you were wondering, what is that dotted line that you see there? That's a filter that focuses on direction, and it really does help filtering out trades, especially when the market is in a strong trend. You wanna fight that trend. So that's a great filter that we've implemented into the Sonic system. Thank you. 
All right, traders, that was about 10 trades within the hour. I think they were all winners as far as I could tell. If you want more information on the Sonic trading system, visit daytradetowin.com. Get a free member account if you don't already have one. We have a new mentorship class starting, so you can join us every day and learn how we trade price action. Until next time, good trading.